Hi guys, Stephen here from Little Robot. A little bit of a different video for you today. It's not directly AI, um, an AI topic. However, this is gonna affect a lot of AI tools, I'm thinking, as well as I'm sure you've heard it in the news, as always, that the new Twitter API has been announced or has been released. And to, it's fair to say, People aren't that happy and it's no surprise. So Twitter at the moment, or for me in the last couple of months, has been one of the best resources, tools and social platforms out there in terms of just being able to engage with the types of people I want to engage with, the information that people are sharing. And you get into these small little bubbles of communities and everyone's super helpful, super friendly. And personally, I really like it. I know a lot of people don't like Twitter, but it's kind of like saying you don't like Facebook, and but you really like LinkedIn, each to their own, right? However, if you have been on Twitter in the last 24 hours, and this is being recorded on Thursday, the 30th of March, you will no doubt have seen the trending topic of Twitter API. And you might be thinking, hey, Stephen, what's all the buzz about? And the buzz is the fact that the new Twitter API is incredibly restrictive. And it's almost as if Twitter was Twitter exec, Twitter managers, uh, developers, Mr. Musk were sat in a meeting and they thought, hmm, you know what we need to do? We need to really restrict the amount of people that are posting on Twitter. Because as we all know, a really successful social media is a quiet one. Come on, man, come on. The truth of the matter is, is they released this API. It's completely unusable for the majority of Twitter based businesses. So think about your ske scheduling tools, um, you know, Twitter DMs, all those kind of things. There's a lot of tools that have integrations into Twitter that before now were on the API and they were getting, I think it was something like 2 million usage um, tokens. But now, as you can see on the screen, it is massively reduced. So they've released the free option, which is 1500 tweets. So that's just you post in Twitter. Um, so you could link, so as a Twitter user, me and you, we could link our API up to a tools like Zapier or Make and automate our Twitter without the need of a scheduling tool by using something like that. Um, even that's a little bit messy. Obviously, it's a lot easier to do that, but you could still do this moving forward. And this is what I think a lot of the scheduling tools are going to uh, suggest you do. They're going to say, hey, get a free Twitter API and then tap your API into your scheduling account and then you can perform 1500 tweets a month. However, for scheduling tools or for most people using the API, this is nowhere near enough. I have seen in the last 24 hours, countless tools just go, right, we're done, we're finished. Like they relied on the API and overnight or within hours, their whole business has been shut down. And a lot of these companies were making significant amounts of money as well and gone because they now don't have the ability to perform or that tool doesn't have the ability to perform in the way it did. So Twitter have rolled out a basic plan for $100 a month. And again, 10,000 tweets read red limit cap. For these scheduling tools, you know, if, if someone has even 10 users, you're probably going to cap this. You're probably going to go over this straight away. Um, it, it's Again, it's just not feasible. But here's the real thing, enterprise. So the enterprise is effectively what's replaced what a lot of these um, scheduling tools and Twitter-based companies were using before. But the rumor has it, the enterprise price plan is $48,000 a month. $48,000 a month. So three days ago, you could have a scheduling company and pay Twitter very little 
to run your um, to run your business. Today, you will have to pay Twitter effectively half a million dollars a year to do exactly the same thing you guys were doing a couple of days ago. It is absurd that there's no middle ground here. There's no $1,000 a month, $4,000 a month type situation. This is what people are calling out for on Twitter. They're saying, listen, that's what we need. We need something where we get a million, a two million um, cap a month, and we're happily pay you know, $1,000, $2,000 a month for it. Because again, that's that's reasonable. It's not really, but they've made it as. Maybe this is the big plan. Maybe they're making it sound more reasonable. And I just think, has this done more damage than good? Well, it has definitely done more damage than good in the short run. But is the last 24 hours, the next couple of days, is that going to push so many people away from the platform in terms of companies that are bringing traffic to the platform? Is it going to push those people away far enough that Twitter can never get them back? And it just seems like um, a crazy thing that's happened. I'd love to know, like, if you're running a business that does rely on Twitter API, how has it affected your business? Let us know, because this, this is a really interesting topic. Like I said, this is not AI directly, but I have on my feed, I've got so many people building AI companies. And a lot of that majority was using Twitter of some sort. Um, whether we like it or not, it's happening. But again, immediately overnight, those people have, have just had their projects shelved um, until something happens. Because I do have this feeling that something will happen. I think that we will get a different tier pricing. I think they will see that actually this is this is not great. Um, you know, this enterprise $48,000 a month plan is just insane. Uh, and I know that some founders are, even if they can do it, even if they're, you know, their profit margins and all that stuff allow, they're saying no anyway, because out of principle, why, why should I spend an extra half a million dollars a year when a couple of days ago I was doing it, doing it for free effectively or, or whatever they were paying. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this. What have you heard about it? Um, I think it's going to have a big knock on effect. Again, think about this. So most people I know are using some sort of scheduling tool or some sort of tweet tool, um, whether that's sort of a tweet hunter, that's a really popular one, all those sorts of things. And a lot of those people are building AI companies, are building startups. And if they're pushed away from Twitter, what does that mean for just the startup world as a whole? And how does that reflect in terms of them communicating with customers, them being able to show brand updates, which a lot of companies use Twitter for? This is going to have a big knock on effect that we don't really know yet. Personally, I've, I've said it to a couple of people on Twitter. I've said, listen, give it a week or two. Let this thing sort of see what happens with it. Don't just say, right, I'm done. I'm closing my project because it's not been, you know, it's been 24, 36 hours. And I think there will be changes in the next week or two to this. I just think that happened. I don't have any any sort of whistleblower telling me that. I wish I did. If you want to be a Twitter whistleblower, hook me up. Um, but yeah, other than that, really interesting to find out how your reactions to this was. How is it going to affect you or your business if you are using Twitter API? And don't forget, subscribe. I've been Stephen from littlerobot.ai. We strive to try and give you information about AI and the tech world. And hopefully um, we are doing that and we hope to increase our stuff as well. So thanks for watching. Thanks for reading or watching. Anyway, catch you next time.